Good Sunday morning. The U.S. Surgeon General calls it the defining public health crisis of our time, mental health. One in five adults experience mental illness every year. Depression rates are at an all-time high. A third of adults report being diagnosed with depression sometime during their lifetimes, a figure that is rising. Nearly 50,000 Americans died by suicide last year, more than any year on record. The president says we are falling short. In 2020, less than half, less than half of all adults with mental illness diagnosis received care for it. Less than half. For children, the number's even worse. Nearly 70% of our kids who seek care for mental health or addiction cannot get it. For all those brave enough and strong enough to seek help, and I mean that, brave enough and strong enough to seek help, we have to do better. In 2021, more than 12 million American adults thought about suicide. 1.7 million attempted it. The youth mental health crisis is overwhelming emergency rooms. Nearly 60% of high school girls reported persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness. And for our nation's veterans, the crisis line is fielding a record number of cries for help. This morning in a special broadcast on the nation's mental health crisis, we will have a conversation about all of it. How do we talk about mental health? How do we access treatment and care? And maybe most importantly, how do we pay for it? Thanks for watching. Stay up. Okay, first and foremost, <clears throat> I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There's no God beside them. Salakia got interrupted, so once again. All praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there's no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well. And honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So as you saw in that um, clip, last year was a record year for suicides here in Babylon the Great. As you can see, it said uh, the veterans um, hotline is off the hook for his, for how many veterans that are depressed. Um, hospital hospitals is get is uh, are being filled up with little girls, little high school girls. Okay. So it just reminds you of this scripture right here, the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Whew. Okay, so easy English version. If you show to me a good ruler, I will show to you happy people. If you show to me a bad ruler, I will show to you sad people. See? See? Let's get into a rejoice. So this is, if, if a righteous man is ruling, this is how the people, the masses, are supposed to feel. It says, glad. Um, brighten up. Gleesome. Cheerful. Gleesome. I don't think they're feeling gleesome, man. But, you know, I don't think I served, but it's all good, you know. Get the point. It says, but when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. So, does it take a rocket scientist, man? Does it take a genius to understand that? You know, when you measure it up and the state of the people who's ruling, what's the, what's the state of the people right now? They're in a mournful state. Last year was a record breaking year for uh, suicides, man.
record breaking year for straight suicide. You you straight off in yourself. Okay? Then I then I believe they said in 2021, millions of millions of Americans attempted it or thought about it. So the people are in a mournful state. So it's clear to see that. Why? It's because the wicked is bearing rule. Alright, let's get the next scripture. Cause it ain't gonna stay like this, man. You fucking wicked devils think that you're gonna and matter of fact before I get that, you think you're gonna just continue to rule and just matter of fact, so like let me just get scripture. Um Yeah, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 6, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. See? Let's get some other versions, man. The rulers of Babylon, and guess what? We are in the modern day Babylon, Babylon the Great. The rulers of Babylon hit many people because they were angry with them. They never stopped hitting them. See? They never stopped hitting us, which is what? Hitting is what? Oppression. So they don't have to hit us uh, 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 physically. They don't even want us to. They don't even want uh, 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 us to know that we're slaves, man. So they're not going to hit it, whip us physically no more. But now, but now they whip us through our, our resources, man. Through our uh, mentality with righteousness. Okay, they constantly beat beating us down. Okay, that's why they're known as the accuser of our brother, the accuser of thy brethren, man. They're constantly st setting stumbling blocks before us, man. You know, if you want to beat, if you want to beat someone, right? Ultimately, if you, if you want to beat someone, you want to, uh, you know, triumph over them. You want to triumph over them. You want to show them, um, you know, ultimately you want to show them that you in power or you, you want to inflict punishment on them for whatever reason. You can do the same thing without physically beating them by setting, setting stumbling blocks before them, keeping them falling in that manner. You know, and that's exactly what, what these fucking people do, man. They're so goddamn greedy. And, he's, and, and and their ways are so damn wicked that it has everybody miserable, man. Okay, let's get that in, uh, first off, let's get that in, uh, 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 the book of Haggai. Haggai chapter 1 verse 6. It says, you have sown much and bring in little. See, right there is already going to put you in a pissed off mournful state. I'm pissed off right now looking at some fucking, uh, butch bitch demon driving his truck, man. Okay, but why? Why is this? Is because you jump to Isaiah chapter ten, verse one. Woe, un, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that write grievousness, which they have prescribed. See, so you write all these uh, unrighteous decrees. Um. Okay, to uh, uh pretty much, you know, so, like Psalms ninety four says to to frame mischief by a law. Okay. So that you could uh, continue to promote sin. But guess what? Sin is death. You may think you're living it up. Right? Like Charleston White said. We all gotta admit. We all love to sin. No, ninja. You don't even know what, you, what you're saying. Sin is death. So you may think that you're living it up. Like, like, that, like the other dude, man. Eating all them abominable food. You think you're living it up. But guess what? Your health is going to deteriorate, deteriorate. And now when you went in and out of the hospital. And you're getting all these health problems. What? You're in a mournful state. Okay. So back in Haggai chapter 1 verse 6. You have sown much and bring in little. Yeah. Once again. That's already set up to be mournful man. You're doing all this work. And all this work. All this work. And you're not getting paid shit. You ain't getting paid nothing fair, man. So now somebody comes in, comes into your job with an attitude or or they or they may uh, uh, want to get something clarified. 
and you already stressed out because you're sowing much and not bringing in nothing, man. So now you got an attitude, and now now you're both uh, button heads, man. And it all goes back to this so-called white man's fucking greed. See, the he, he got the prices rising for everything. He put you in these little shacks, shacks of a house, when we all should have our own vineyards and our own our own land, so to speak. You know, to grow different crops and so forth, or whatever we choose. Right? He says, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Okay, and, and, and just watch, man. It's gonna get even worse. To where this is gonna get be even more exemplified. You're gonna think you okay, gonna be able to fill up your shopping cart. Right? Like you used to do back in the day. And it's going to cost you a, your whole paycheck. A full shopping cart going to cost you your whole damn paycheck. So you're going to have to start choosing. Between this bill and that bill. How much you're going to eat. And it's all because of who the so-called white man is in power. Matter of fact, let's get that. Is he not? Is he not in power? Whose face is on the money, man? Who's in the damn, who's in the damn Senate? Who's in the Senate? The House of Representatives. Okay? Pretty much the, th uh, the three branches, the executive, legislative, judicial. Who's ruling all of these things? Okay, the so-called white man with a little bit of a a, a, a little bit of so-called Negroes that work their way in. This is the book of Job, chapter nine, verse twenty-four. They are the ones running things, man. Their faces on the money. They're the ones controlling all the oil with the uh, uh through the petrol dollar. It's without a shadow of doubt who's in power, man. Of the planet of the earth. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See? So the wicked is ruling the earth right now. It says, He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, and he covered the faces of the judges. All right? The true rulers, man. The true men of the Lord. It says, Therefore, if not, where and who is he? So if he's the one that's not the wicked, then where and who is the wicked then? Then who is it? Who's the wicked then? Okay? It's the so-called goddamn white man. Alright? And, and and he sees he sees he sees the uprising. Alright. It may be a carnal one through the uh through his own people, but even more so the, the spiritual uprising of the Israelites waking up. Okay. Then he sees the woke agenda of so-called Negroes. They're waking up as far as being pissed off about the oppression. And now that's why he's trying to come in to oppress us even more with this with this uh, uh the fourth industrial revolution in which he's going to require you to take his chip, man. So now if you want to be a part of his society, you want to be able to go to his restaurants, you want to be able to go to his grocery stores, you want to be able to walk in his streets, you know, you want to be able to spend his money. You're going to have to take the chip. Otherwise, what? He's going to put you to death. Because he sees that is that his time is up, man. Let me get that. Let me get that scripture. So, you know, the point is, man, look at everybody that, that's that's committing suicide, that's depressed, on meds, hooked on drugs. You know, why is that, man? It's because it's so quiet. man don't know how to rule. He's he's fucking wicked. He's greedy as all hell. OK, he squeezed the life out of you. And leave you with little to nothing. I didn't even finish Haggai 1 and 6. But the point was that you you receive wages as if it's in a bag with holes. So he's constantly taking your fucking money from you, man. So that you can't even get by on your own. You can't even get ahead, man. This place is not not your rest. Then you say, oh, man, well, well I work. Uh, if I could work 60 hours every single week for just four years. Then I'll be able to pay pay my house off. You know, or I'll be able to pay this off, right? So then you pay it off. And then you get home and your wife is committing adultery on you. And guess what? Nothing nothing happened. You can do nothing about it. Because he ultimately framing mischief by a law. Okay? Because that, that law will be murder. But in the scriptures, you could be justified. This is Revelation 12 and 12. 
Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Okay, it was the devil, what, the so-called white man ultimately. Okay, in his system that he has. Because, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See? So he's going to come come after us with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time because the Israelites are waking back up. And he knows, man. He knows that when the Israelites wake up and call on their power, that that that, that that's it. That they, he's going to come and save us. He knows, man, that the scriptures say, um, the Lord, when the Lord begins to visit the earth, then shall the end come. And he sees all the chariot sightings, man. But he, he, he literally thinks he has a fighting chance, man. So it's just crazy, man, to see all these people committing suicide. All these, they said that a lot of high school girls depressed in and out of the hospital. You know, kids depressed. Okay. Uh, why is that, man? Because this damn devil's in rulership. Okay. He don't know how to rule worth a goddamn, man. Even the earth is not, not just the people are mourning. Even the earth is mourning, man. The animals are mourning. He doesn't keep the land Sabbath. Okay, he's overly greedy and he's just plain wicked. His ways is just wicked, man. Now, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say too, man. Now just imagine he implemented uh, uh, the adultery rule or marriage. Marriage, man. No boyfriend and girlfriend, just married. You know, you know how happy a lot of those a lot of those people would be. You know how much uh, depression that that would um, take away. How much sin that would take away right at its root. Scriptures say, like, man isn't meant to be alone. Woman ain't meant to be alone. So here it is. You 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 implement marriage and, and the rule of adultery. You know how much more people is going to be happy? Right then and there off the rip. Okay? And then they intentionally do this shit, man. They intentionally do this by poisoning the foods and making you more dumbed down, man. So th this is exactly what they want, man. So that you don't have no will to 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 uh, stand for something, but but that I'm gonna say shalom.